Hello everyone, it's me, unless I look like crap in this video, and in that case, it's somebody else. So I've talked about this before, that I have two stray cats that I take care of, and they have pretty much, you know, lived on my front porch for like a year and a half to two years, and I do consider them my cats. It's just, when, with, their, with them being strays, you know, like, you have to actually earn their trust, so it's taken quite a long time for them to, like, allow me to get close and to pet them. But we got to that point, and I would love to move them into the house, but I don't think they're, like, there yet, because I will open the door and say, hey, come on, and they'll come into the house, and they'll totally do this, and then they'll run back out, and I, 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 I want them to be safe, but at the same time, you know, I'd rather it be their choice. It sounds so stupid to say. So, one of my stray cats, I haven't seen her for two days now, and I'm like, where is she? Oh my god. And it's like, um, I've gone looking all around the neighborhood, like blocks and blocks, and just walking the blocks, like, doing that, like looking under cars in the street, you know, it's, it's a sad, horrible thing, like, oh my god, I hope I don't find her in the street, I haven't found her, I just about, like, walked through people's front and backyards and looking on their porches and things like that, I am worried, I'm thinking, I, she didn't look pregnant, um, I know that's a big thing, like, um, if you have cats, you have to be responsible, like any pets really, you have to be responsible and get them spayed or neutered, you know, that's what Bob Barker really drills into all of our heads, and that's what I wanted to do, like, I wanted to get her spayed, it's just because she's a stray cat, it's really difficult to get a stray cat to get into a carrier to take them to the vet, you know, she's, like, not an old cat either, like, she's, I'd say, like, she was six months at the oldest when she first got here, so I'm, I'm just, like, worried, and I've, I've done things like looking at, uh, animal shelters to see if somehow she got picked up, and I haven't found anything there, like, I've posted on, you know, the neighborhood Facebook group, and I haven't heard anything, but people have their eyes open, so hoping, um, Back to what I was saying, though, I wanted to get her spayed. It's just, you know, so difficult to get a stray cat into a carrier to get them to the vet. But she didn't look pregnant. But I know sometimes when cats give birth, they will go off somewhere and you don't see them for like days and days. And then they'll just come back, um, you know, to eat or something like that. But uh, I... I she didn't look pregnant. Um, I don't know. Hello, everyone. It's the next day my video cut off, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, where was I? So I had to rewatch it. Um, uh, as I was saying, uh, I kind of think this is a better angle. It's like, oh yeah, I like that. So, as I was saying, the neighbors across the way, I know that they also set food out for the cats, like the stray cats that are around. So I was kind of thinking, well, maybe she's over there, but it, it, it really wouldn't make sense because uh, she lives here. Like we have like a cat house for her because it's colder outside and took a long time to make, but it's made and she loves it. It's like her home. So I, I've like walked all the way around there and looked and looked and I have no idea. And I'm, I'm worried and I'm upset about it. And I'm just, you know, like I want to find the cat because I really love the cat. Like I'm a huge animal person. I love animals and my cats are like my children because I don't have any children of my own, so they're my kids, you know, and yeah, those cats are outside just because I haven't been able to actually get them to actually move in yet, but I love them as much as I love my inside cats, so it's like, 
come on, come on universe, bring me my cat back because I'm like, I don't know, it's like I'm, there's something missing with her not being here and as soon as she does come back, God willing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared, but you know, I'll never see her again or I'll find her somewhere dead or something like that. I'm like, if sh she does come back, she's gonna have to just move inside because I can't, um, you know, I can't go through this again. How dare you just run off? Come on now. It's just, it's just, you know, losing animals. It's, it's like, damn. So keep your good thoughts coming towards me and I'm going to do the same and I'm getting ready to go walk around the neighborhood several blocks again. You know, my cats are important to me and that's really all that I have to say about it. So thank you all so much for watching. I had a big glare in my glasses, which is why I don't wear them when I'm filming a video. It's not necessarily for uh, vanity, but vanity works too. So thank you all, and I will see you next time when hopefully I have some better news. Although my videos are kind of delayed because I have so many already made that um, there could be like an update, but it might not be put out until later. So, you know, if anything good happens or I learn anything, I'll leave it down below in a comment. So that's it, and I will see you next time.